going on, family? Appreciate y'all. Forgive me, I'm outside. That plane going. All right. Appreciate getting me over 1,000 subscribers. When I did a video about that, I was at 120. This is a brand new channel. I woke up this morning. I'm over 1,000 subscribers. So that's why I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna answer a lot of questions about the Soldier Slim video, the Jigger, the Hitman Jigger allegedly killed Soldier Slim video that I didn't think people would ask. I can only answer some, can't answer all. First question, oh, in the beginning what you was looking at was Harmony Oaks, formerly known as the Magnolia Project. That was just one or two streets because it's a big, it, it was a big project and they rebuild it. They just have the middle. The middle was kind of empty, but the outskirts is rebuilt. They have new buildings. Some of the stories inside there is three stories highlight. One time I was in somebody's house in there and that, um, somebody said, I forgot who it was. They said, um, oh, that, that, that's my son. They on the third floor. Like we in the third floor. Like third floor on the inside? And they got three stories in some of the places. Now the thing about that is the buildings look different, but they have, I think, three buildings still have that old style project brick style. And one of those buildings is the building that Juvenile grew up on in, like on Ferret in Washington. On the other side, we was on the side of, we was on round, we was on, matter of fact, Washington and Ferret, but this is like, that's Ferret in Louisiana. Ferret in Louisiana, I'm sorry. That's what Juvenile grew up at. That building still had the old style project bricks. I don't know if it's because he lived there. I don't know. But let me get to it. Big Re. Who was Big Re? Big Re grew up in Michigan. Back in the early days, she ran with, in the beginning stage, she was running with Javon and them out of Michigan. Um, she out the east. Michigan was in New Orleans East. I knew her when I met her. She was staying off of Chef in them apartments. Let me tell you something, I can't lie to you. I was a Magnolia Slim fan, heavy. Not really a fan, I listened to the music. Over and over. For a Soldier Slim, when he became Soldier Slim and got with No Limit, it was like a few songs I listened to over and over. Never really got into the whole albums like that. But when I met Big Re, I've been knowing her for a while. I'll tell you who she was and what she did. Been knowing her for a while and one day, we got on the subject of Soldier Slim, and she bust out, man, he put me in a song, you dig? He was like, you know, that's, that's how she talks. She's short, chubby, look like a Cuban, got that curly hair. I never asked her was she Cuban or nothing like that, but she she might have been, because I think Javon and him was cute. But um, who she was, like, if you out there doing you doing what you do, you can let Big Ree hold some stuff for you. Big Ree was, she, she ran them streets. She was in the streets, you know what I'm saying? And that's what she was doing for Soldier Slim, what she was telling me. And um, she lived on Tyra Lane at that time. And what she said was, I think it was a uh, few, I think it was pounds of weed she was holding for Slim. Well, I don't, I, somebody broke into the house or something like that, but some, somebody took it from her, right? She told Slim. Now, I don't think she know who did it, so she couldn't say who did it. But I think Slim did it. Was she making it seem like Slim did his investigation and came up with something on his own? You know what I'm saying? And took it from there, handled his business from there. So that's who Big Re is. She used to rock with Slim. She one of them street street girls. That's she out there about that life, and she's still around, man. I, I, matter of fact, I can't lie to her. I was looking for. Her. I wanted to tell her, man. Look, people asking who you are. But I couldn't find her, man. I usually I catch her off a shelf somewhere chilling. I didn't see her. I rode in the east, I didn't see her. But that's who Big Re is. She's from out the east, out of Miss you. Early stages, ran with the Miss you boys. And she was running with Slim when she was staying on Tyra Lane. And probably still doing the same thing. I don't know, I don't know what she doing. But last time I saw her was six months ago. That's the last time I saw her. Okay, that's one question. Next question, I, 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 why was Slim around that dude? Well, I don't know Slim or that dude, but right after it happened, from what I'm understanding, people that know them, the 
dude was a rapper too. And he was in the streets, a hitter too. Slim had a lot of soldiers around him. You understand? I don't know if he was part of the cutthroat committee clique, but I think Slim was trying to put from what I'm hearing, from what I understand, Slim was putting him on with the rap thing. But Slim had beef with big name, big people out there. Slim was out there doing his thing in the streets. He was, he wasn't just rapping it, he was living it. He was, he was that streets. He was official in them streets. And he was doing his thing. Now, some said that Slim did something to the dude that threw the hit, people. You understand? And that's how it happened. Now, check this out. Nobody never ever came up, so the police dropped the whole thing. But guess, you know, somebody said who did it. Come on, man. The only person really know who did that is the one, if the people that was there when the dude sent the hit. But rumors spread. And I could say this it was a cat that even the law probably knew who, um, did it and come to find out he's well connected you know he's a notorious and what was that that's the rumor right there you know rumor is he had a lot of paper a lot a lot you're not talking about no small change you know that's the rumor and um that's all i can tell you about that now Somebody asked why was Slim out there doing this, doing that. Well, I don't know if you know he got dropped from Master from No Limit. Um, only I don't think he understood the real reason why, but I understood because this is how P wrote. P, when you sign with No Limit, Master P wanted you to stay in Baton Rouge. He didn't want you in New Orleans hanging with these dudes in New Orleans, especially back then. New Orleans was like, you know. Just like Soldier Slim said, if you was off the porch in the 90s and you survived that, you was a soldier. You was a gangster. And that's real talk, man. That's real talk, man. New Orleans was the type of place that if you walk up the street, and if you was, you could walk up the street, if you was a nobody, any time of the day, somebody can just get at you about something. And usually when they got at you back then, you end up dead. I'm, I, I saw a, a, com a post on, a comment on Instagram one time. Cash was fighting. And one dude said, man, like them cats was like 40 years old. And one dude said, man, what they doing fighting? You know, back in their days, they didn't fight. They got with the hands. I don't know where that myth come from. Probably, and when I was in junior high, fighting days decreased. Shooting increased heavily starting in the mid-80s. So I don't know if you got somebody that was teenagers in the 90s and out there in the street trust me it wasn't about no fight you couldn't get no fight at a club and let that dude get out that door you had to leave, let him leave in the stretcher because if you let him get out that door first you better not walk out because trust me he waiting with a tool constantly constantly it was like that in New Orleans so P did not want anyone hanging in New Orleans but you had a lot of rebellious ones that was doing it his brother one of them Corey, rebellious to his words. See, murder was hanging with his people, didn't care what he say. P ain't like that. You know, all of a sudden he got into it, water cut. Same thing with Soldier. Soldier, you couldn't stop him from hanging out here. He always was out here. Like I said, every night after the club, no matter what day it was, three, four, and five in the morning, we had Anita's, we was at Anita's, or either the trolley stop. You see everybody there. New Orleans is not a real big city. Not that small, but it's not a real big city. So, you know, P didn't like that. One just him, I heard it was Mercedes, a lot of other people. P was like, look, you're not gonna stick to the program. You gotta go. So he was doing his thing on the streets. Of course, he was selling music too, but he was doing other things too. And you know, things happen when you, you know, that shouldn't have happened. Cause no way in the world somebody should have did him like that. You know what I'm saying? Not like that at all. Uh, you know. What other questions someone asked me? Um, that's pretty much all I can answer. It was a lot of questions, man. It was, you know, it, it's, <laughs> this generation is something. But who is Big Reed and why he had to do the round? You know.